The third important part of our definition is willing to purchase. To be considered part of the demand for something, I must at least want it and be willing to buy it. So, now, let's assume for one fantastical moment that I'm mega rich. So, now, I might be able to afford this fine Aston Martin, but since I'm not James Bond, I'm far too sensible than to spend 2.6 million rand on a new car. So, while I might be able to purchase it, because I'm not willing to, I'm not considered part of the demand for this Aston Martin. Hang on, who am I kidding? I love an Aston Martin. Getting back to reality, I'm fortunately, I'm just not rich enough for one of these. And as much as I might look good in one, I'm just not able to buy it. This last qualification, being able to purchase, is an important one, giving real weight to the concept of demand. Wanting and longing for something does not in itself make me part of the demand for it. To be part of the demand for it, I must also be able to purchase it. So, much as I'd like to be, I'm not part of the demand for this Aston Martin because I don't have the 2.6 million rand I need to buy it. <laughs>